Hello. I'd like to make a very brief video based on one of the most misunderstood statements in all spiritual literature, and it's the word I am. You know, if somebody were to ask you, who are you, you'll say I am. It's understood. Okay. But you see, I am means who you really are, the truth of you, the oneness of you. And throughout history, religions and everything else have misunderstood this word. Because it's a very depth word. For example, um, you know when we hear statements like, uh, I am that I am. <clears throat> It refers to, your, to, to the truth of I am. When the statement, the seven most beautiful words in the English language that say, be still and know I am God. It is still referring back to that oneness, to that being. In this particular sense, doing the video, it's called you. You see, this is, this is a... This is the, the biggest one. I, I had a couple of emails, people saying, Bert, I, I'm, I, I forgive other people, I forgive things, but I find it so hard to forgive myself. Okay, it all comes back to I am. You, when Jesus made the statement, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and only through me can you enter the kingdom of heaven, people took it for granted that unless you believe in Jesus, the body, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus became the Christ consciousness where he realized I am is all that I am. You see, um, for example, let's, let's make it a little simpler. A woman asked me, she said, Bert, she said, when I'm praying, who am I praying to if I am is who I am? And I said, you're praying to yourself. She says, praying to myself? You know? And I said, yes. Yes. Because all the time you think you're separate. You see? So you look for someone to complete you. You never feel fulfilled within yourself. You never feel complete within yourself. You feel always something is missing. Something is not there. You can't find it that there is no one but, but the I am that you are. I am is all that there is. So you never pray to anyone, you pray to yourself because at that moment, at that moment there is only the idea that when you pray God is out there and you're praying to God. But God is I am. There is only I am, which is I am. So when I pray, there is absolutely no separation at all. There is only I am. And that's the fulfillment. Why do we feel lonely? Why do we feel deprived? Why do we feel unloved? Why do we feel incomplete? Why do we crave relationship for someone to love us? Because we can't feel this completeness, this truth. The, you know, Jesus said, don't say, lo here, lo there. The kingdom of God is within you. It is you, yourself, who are searching for. There is nothing outside of you. There is only you. And this is the most complex thing, because when we think of me, we think we're thinking ego. No, ego is the idea that you're incomplete. Ego is the idea that you need something. You're conditioned to believe that you are not enough. But you'll finally realize that this I am, that I am, is the true love. Which is in a way loving yourself, 
but not the ego self which doesn't exist, which is made up of the past which is made up of your name and body and form. It is who you are right now. You are aware that you're listening. Who is aware? Who? You might say me. But if you look for me, there is no me. There is no such thing as me. But I am, yes, I am listening that I am is all you need if you close your eyes for a moment and say I am that I am and you pray to that I am be still and know I am God then you begin to understand how great and beautiful and wonderful you are but it is not the personal that is born and dies. It is the part in you, the kingdom of God, the I am, that knows no beginning and no end, and that is you right now. I am that. And when you pray to that, you feel complete, you feel good. You know, sometimes people ask me, Bert, you live alone, and don't you feel lonely? Don't you crave company? Well, yes, I do, sure, but, but I never feel alone. And that is the whole thing. Because I pray a great deal. And when I pray, I feel good. I feel good because I'm one with myself. I am no longer longing for something outside of me. I'm no longer needing anything. I am complete. And then when I look around me, I see people and animals and nature. And they are I am. There's nothing separate. So I leave you with this. If you begin to get this, it would be wonderful. Many blessings. I am. Thank you.